hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So today's subscriber sponsored request is brought to you by Yesenia. Yesenia has been an OG on the channel for a long time, but Yesenia is requiring from me spring rolls. Yesenia knows about the lit cigs, but Yesenia also said, you don't have to make those, you can make something different. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make something different. And what is that? If you can guess by these ingredients, you might understand that we're about to make some Big Mac spring rolls. So let's get it popping. Okay, so first things first, we are gonna be frying off some beef, but I wanna get some onions chopped up for the beef to saute in. And I saw this in the dollar store the other day, and it's this little hand blade chopper thing. And I'm intrigued to see how effective it is. So let's see, just pop the top, it's got blades, you put your onions in, and then you do it like you're starting a lawnmower. <laughs> Seems like it worked pretty good. <laughs> Damn, really good. That is effective. All right, flame, middle heat, pan, on, onions, in. Pop in the beef beside. Okay, so as that beef is doing its thang thang, let's go ahead and make up some mac sauce. We're gonna use our newfound favorite contraption to do that. And we're gonna put in some mayo. Two tablespoon. Next up, we got some mustard in here. Maybe one tablespoon. Got the tiniest little squirt of ketchup. We've got bread and butter pickles, the sweet ones. A tiny bit of the brine from the pickles. Nice hefty amount of onion powder. Touch of garlic. Pinch of paprika and a pinch of curry powder. Go ahead and pop the top and rip to go. Looking pretty legit. Come back over to the beef, make sure we're looking good here. Okay, so we'll just put this meat off in a bowl here and let it come down to about room temp before we put in our pickles and cheese with it, of course, because we don't want the cheese to get too melty. We want that to go down when we're frying the spring rolls, of course. Go ahead and get our mac sauce situated into a uh, proper dipping bowl for when we are about to eat these spring rolls. So because iceberg lettuce is a required component of a Big Mac, I don't want it to get soggy in the egg roll when we fry. So what I'm gonna do is just basically make some small per bite chunks to just take fresh and clean to basically chase the spring roll with <laughs> a side dish of like just these little nuggets lettuce nuggets complete and then we're also gonna have to toast off some sesame seeds because that's a required component of a mac of course and sesame seeds taste a whole lot better when they are toasted <laughs> see that getting a nice little golden color on them now much better toasted sesame is complete all right so our beef mix has come down to room temp so we're gonna go in with our pickles these are the dill pickles and our cheese because Big Mac's gotta has cheese and just mix that together. Why am I so tempted to just scoop a little bite of this ahead of time right now? <laughs> I don't know why, but it looks so good to me in this moment. Okay, let's go ahead and roll up one of these suckers. I've got to rehydrate this rice paper, so I got this little water here. Just gonna kind of drizzle it on and then work it in. Until it disappears basically. Flip it. Get that other side. Flip it back. Load up the filling. Make it neat, make it nice. Pull these. Take this over top. Tuck it. Tuck it tight. This side in this side in and we got ourselves a nice Big Mac Asian burrito spring roll 
There you go. Let's make some more. All right, so here's our yield. I was able to get eight out of them. They are, you know, fairly decent size. Pretty big guys. Maybe four inches, four and a half inches. Big enough, right, ladies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went there, but it's time to fry these guys, get them nice, golden, and crispy. Let's go. Okie dokie, Smokey, time to fry. We got our oil here ready at about 325. All right, we a couple minutes in. Let's check on these, see how we're doing. Maybe do a little flip ski, a little turn. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, well, this is pretty much the final product of these. I'm gonna go ahead and get these plated and then you meet me at the dining table to get these in our mouth. Yo, hello, what up? And welcome to today's subscriber sponsored a video by Yesenia. What up Yesenia, shout out to you. So much obliged. You've been such a supportive cast member in the past relative to the channel. And um, you don't really know how deeply I do appreciate it, but if I can convey that in this message here now, hopefully you feel it if you're watching this. I know you're a little bit mysterious. You kind of don't, I don't really see you moving. I don't see you in the ments. And by that I meant comments. But you know, you're not as, you're kind of behind the scenes, but you've always been like a real rare one. So really appreciate it. So Yesenia was looking for some sprang rolls today. And she knows about the lit cigs. And if you've been with me long enough, you know about the lit cigs. And that is a Vietnamese style spring roll, AKA kind of like this with them crispy rice papers, right? Way different interior. But Yesenia was saying like, yo, you should make some spring rolls any way you see is fit. And so I thought, Hmm, what would be different than that to standard? And I said, Big Macs. So that's what we got right now. And before we get too deep into anything more, we must pour. So we have our ice glass. I got to do it behind here because I can't move the rolls, the sprang rizzies. <laughs> I got some A&W root beer, right? I've been sipping on this. It's a little flat, not, not gonna lie. It's been in rotation for a day or two. Up close and purse for you. Squinty for me. And easily just one of the best. And why is that? The vanilla, caramel, whatever you call it, aspect of that root beer is to die for. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I myself have never reconstructed or created any sort of a spring roll in these rice papers in my entire life. I've only ever had the privilege of ordering them from the masters themselves. So I ended up with some issues as you may see here. And we'll talk about my thoughts via the process but before that i just want to really try one so we dip into our mac sauce right so we dip it into our mac sauce maybe a little up close and personal for that right you can hear the crack and the bubble of these rice papers now i was wondering what do i do with these sesame seeds I couldn't deep fry them, they would burn. I was thinking about, you know, how you apply them to the top of buns, but you egg wash, then bake. It just, there was no way. So what I thought was, I'll just do this. Cause we want every component of the mac in the bite. So that's what we do. We dip the sauce, we get the sesames and then we chase with our lettuce nugget. So here we go. I'm so intrigued to know what this is all about.
That is so interesting. <laughs> so interesting. I'll say this. It doesn't exactly taste like a Big Mac. It's definitely different. I'm certainly having way too many uh, sesame seeds per bite, but... It's delicious. Oh my god. Mm. In this situation, relative to the Big Mac-ness of things. I would say it's just about ratios. And obviously the hot oil changes things, right? We don't have like a standardized bun, but the sauce is dope. I'll say this, maybe just do like a light dip of the seed and then What's really actually playing true is how much lettuce you take. The lettuce pieces are crucial. Mmm. You just see how that cheese, like str that one cheese just strung out of there. That changed the flavor dy dynamic. in this roll, so I feel like what I'm experiences, experiencing is from roll to roll, the distribution of the um, filling is gonna dictate like the, the bites, right? That's what I'm getting. That's definitely what I'm getting. But yo, how beautiful is that? Just those toasted seeds, right? Right here. Mm. Toasting of the sesame seeds, absolutely required. Now, when we talk about this, uh, this little mac sauce, a little mac dip. I've for years been trying to make it. as close as I can get it to what I feel like intuitively I can taste within it and visually what I see in it. I used to make it with more ketchup thinking that that was a thing, but I don't think Big Mac sauce has that much ketchup in it. I really don't. So that's why I went light on the ketchup. As far as the curry powder, 
I've always tasted something like that. In Big Mac sauce. I've looked at all these copycat recipes and they just seem too basic. Like there's definitely something in Big Mac sauce. That has a different, deeper. I don't know. I, I just don't know how to put even my thumb on it, finger on it. So I tried curry just to see. I don't know if it's right. It definitely lends a uh, a different flavor. It's definitely still good, but I don't know if it's accurate. This is the extra crunch because the rice paper had a hole in it. So it allowed for like oxygen and like oil to get inside the paper, inside the roll. interesting to think about is like is it almost better that way because it's crunchier I don't think so because everything about it is more dry But these, so important. And the experience. The lettuce is an absolute requirement. This is how you know it's hitting though. When my first liquid relief is five rolls in. That's when you know shit is legit. I was stressed out that these uh, didn't fry up to the same color that I'm used to with my local, you know, Asian supplier of these in their original form. I would love to know the secret. Of what they do. Could have to do with um, what's in the wrap. Something tells me it has to do with oil temperature. I think I just didn't have mine, but look at that inside though. 
pickles and cheese, beef, looks amazing. Something tells me my oil temperature was That's incorrect. Amateur hour. I think it needed to be hotter. Like right off the bat. But yo. The final flavor of everything here is awesome. Texture, crunch, flavor, everything. Absolutely. Awesome. Mm. This is bumming me out. I wish I had more. Uh, lettuce chunk. Because they really tie the whole thing together. With the grease, the savory, even the nuttiness of uh, the sesames. That freshness and crunch of the lettuce. That's what's up. All right, I could probably crush this, but I just bummed that it wouldn't be with more lettuce. I just want more lettuce. So, Yesenia and everybody else, hope y'all enjoyed that one. If you'd like to hit my line for something like this for yourself, do so. Links down below. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. And stay true.